soon as you heard Boogie Cousins had been traded, what was your reaction? Well, number one, it's a business decision by the Kings. And for all those people that slammed Kevin Durant for leaving OKC for Golden State, when people are talking about loyalty and, you know, he's given everything he's got to OKC, he should stay and reward them. This is why you can't get upset when people jump ship because all along Vlade and management were telling Boogie Cousins you were not going to be traded during the weekend. You're, we're all in with you. And as soon as I knew, as soon as they started doing that publicly, yeah. I knew he was going to be traded. So don't come and say people aren't loyal because management and ownership are never loyal. It was a business decision. He's a great player. He's a very volatile player. But they weren't committed because he was going to be the first $200 plus man, $209 million, I believe, because he was going to sign that extension this summer, which not only does it carry on for his last year, but five additional years. Mm-hmm. And they didn't want to commit to the $209 million, And he cannot get that money from New Orleans or anyone else. So he'll, he could sign a max deal at about 180. But he's out at thirty million, and people are like, "Well, what's the difference between one hundred and eighty and two hundred and ten? Thirty million yeah. people. <laughs> That's the difference." Okay, would you have signed him if you're Sacramento to a two hundred million dollar deal? Now that's the tricky question. See, that's the tricky question if you're Vladi and Peja and and management. I've got a new building that we just opened, and he is clearly our franchise player and cornerstone it it, he's a what a three-time all-star he's a walking 2010 guy he's the fourth or fifth leading scorer in the association but he has these outbursts dan that scare me that you know he's a coach killer how many coaches has he played for in his tenure alone like six or or seven had new head coaches i think it, it, it it's ridiculous so I think all this was put in a gumbo pot and it was talked about with management and ownership and they came to this decision. Personally, I love his demeanor. I think sometimes he crosses the line. I just wish he would be a better teammate. I don't think he's a great teammate because a lot of times when he has these outbursts, a lot of his players don't come to his back. I wouldn't mind Draymond Green when he goes crazy, his players come to his back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just don't see that with Boogie. I could be wrong. I'm, not, I'm on the outside looking in. I'm just going by my optics and looking on TV. He's the guy I wish I could have played with because with that talent and with my knowledge and the way I talk and the way he acts and all that, I would have loved to have trained him because he could be good with the rest and how to get in people's head as well as his game. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.